This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Pebble Daisy. This design is stitched from the center of your quilting space. And you're going to start with a circle and then branch off with a small teardrop shaped petal. Simply travel stitch around that circle and branch off with a new pet petal in another direction. And really you can do as many of these as you want in as many different directions as you want. Typically I will do about four starting petals and then four more in between each one. It just seems to work better for my brain. But if you like to do five petals or six petals to start, just stitch as many as you like. It's really a lot of fun just to see how people stitch flowers and form the designs from the beginning. So now I have kind of this base of four petals and I'm going to start going inside of each one and filling that petal with these soft pebbles. Uh, sorry, petals filling with pebbles. <laughs> Uh, I was just simply swirling around and stitching these circles, filling in that petal shape so that it's filled with these circles. And the nice thing is there's so much travel stitching involved with this, it really darkens that petal up very nicely and creates a gorgeous texture for your quilt. You might have to kind of work your way around a bit and then start filling the next petal with pebbles or circles. Uh, and really you can see I'm kind of using the edges of the petal as a guide and that's very useful. It's so nice when you can have those lines almost like guidelines that you're stitching to those lines. It's, it's very useful for estimation. So you're estimating your space and you're estimating how big the circle needs to be and those lines are very useful because they're right there. You just stitch right to them and keep that curve consistent then your circles are much easier to create. Uh, a good design to kind of play with this in practice is called chain of pearls because it's basically just slightly curvy lines and circles being filled in in between those lines and it will give you a good idea of what I'm talking about about space estimation and using those lines as guidelines. Now I'm ready to fill in this very last petal and you'll see just how nicely this is coming together, uh, how nice the texture looks uh, and uh, the circles within each petal. It really is a fun and funky design but it is time consuming. So this is going to be something that you'd want to put in maybe the center of a block kind of as a showcase, a motif, uh, something that's going to stand out on the surface of your quilt. You're not necessarily going to fill your entire quilt with with this particular design. Partially because it's a center fill design. Everything's going to be radiating out from the center and it works best just to simply create the flower shape and leave it at that and maybe use other designs to fill in and around it. So now let's start expanding the daisy shape and how you do this is you just simply echo around each petal coming in and connecting with that space in between uh, the, the petal shapes right in the center. And you can see I've fast forwarded the design forward, I've added more petals in between each starting petal and just simply filled the space adding more and more lines of echo quilting. It's very simple. The echoing part is very simple and not time consuming at all. The part that's going to be tricky and time consuming and a little tedious is going to be uh, getting those petals started and filling them with the circles. So I hope that all makes sense. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish Pebble Daisy. Find many more fun flower designs at the Free Motion Quilting Project. That's at freemotionproject.com.